channel my name is Noah from Addis Ababa University today I am going to how you can solve this problem this problem is all about force of gravitation before starting this tutorial if you can't see the last six questions I recommend to that questions and come back here again uh, for now let's jump into this question at what altitude h above the earth's north pole is the weight of an object reduced to one third of its earth's surface value assume the spherical Earth of radius r and express h in terms of rad r in terms of r uh, as you as you can see here uh, on the earth's surface uh, uh, on the earth's surface we have their own weights above the earth's surface the radius is also increased by h during this time our weight is decreased then uh, how can we calculate that decreased weight and other little concepts uh, we can see this problem uh, on this question before starting this question, uh, between all matter present on the Earth's surface, there is a force of attraction which acts them and which is universally present known as a force of gravitation. When object fell in upward direction, it comes back within the acceleration, and the acceleration is known as the force acceleration due to gravity, whose value is 9.81 meter per second square over 9.81. Uh, newton per kilogram or 32.2 uh, feet per second square then uh, we can use this and calculate the reduced weight which is reduced by 1 over 3 uh, as you know force of gravitation is equal to gravitational constant times mass 1 times mass 2 over r square gravitational constant is already given mass 1 is the mass of one object and m2 is the mass of the other object r, r square is the distance between the centers of one object to the centers of another object uh, and weight is equal to gravitational constant times mass of earth times m over r square at the earth surface for the height above the earth surface the radius is increased r is increased by h and force becomes gravitational constant times mass 1 times mass over r square and weight equals to gravitational constant times mass times mass of earth times mass over the increased r which means r plus h the whole square uh, we can given uh, the weights of uh, the object uh, on uh, the, and some height h is given by 1 over 3 of the weight on the surface which means weight, weight prime is equal to 0 0.03 weight when you come to uh, with the ratio gravitational constant times mass of earth over m over r plus h squared equals to 0 0.01 times gravitational constant times mass of earth times mass over r square which means r square over 0 0.33 is equal to r square plus h square r over under radical 0 0.33 times is equal to r plus h because this is a square root in order to cancel this you can take the square of both sides and is r square becomes r and 0 0.03 becomes radius of 0 under radical of 0 0.33 then h is equal to r over under radical 0 0.33 minus r minus r after this h is equal to 0 0.45 over under radical 0 0.33 times r h is equal to 0 0.7 for r then from the relation h and r we can simply get at a height of h is equal to 0 0.7404 r the weights of an object or a person above the north pole is reduced by uh, 1 over 3 1 over 3 at the heights of 0 0.740 r it's all about this problem if you have any question you can put it on the comment section unless uh, next time we will do the next question until that i enjoy the rest of the